There's a whole class of log problems where you're trying to solve for x, and if you try to solve it algebraically, you're going to get stuck. In other words, it's essentially impossible. This one right here, if you try to solve it, this variable is going to get stuck as an exponent, and you'll unpack this one from the logarithm. Yay! But then, in order to get this one back out of the exponent, you end up putting this one back in a logarithm, and you're stuck. So what do we do? We graph it. Now, you could try and enter the equation directly into Desmos or something like that, but you're going to run into problems, usually. Maybe there's a workaround, I don't know. Um, here you get 3 plus 2x cubed. So you see these vertical lines, and, and these are potentially the answers that we're dealing with, about, about 6 and about negative 1 or so. But in order to get something you can analyze, you want to graph both sides of the equation as separate functions. It's a cool log function, I love that. It's like a cubic log, and this equals y. And you can see they meet in different spots here and here. Now, um, in this case, actually, I think that you could take both answers, and uh, sometimes there might be some constraints about if it's a real answer or not, but here you can see clearly these two points work. And... Um, if you're asked to maybe only answer x is greater or less than zero, that might impact your result. But I don't see why you can't uh, actually share both x values. All right, I hope you enjoyed that.